As one family of God, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang gabi ho sa kanilang lahat. Good evening, Ba Father. And welcome to our Eucharistic celebration as we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, and at the same time, we welcome the New Year. And to, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest.
us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This beautiful prayer was used in the past when a priest blessed the people. On New Year's Day, we invoke God's name upon ourselves for the year ahead. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and 
wings of the earth fear him. O the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in His mercy. In His mercy He will be blessed. May God bless us in His mercy. In His mercy He will be blessed. When the fullness of time had come, the Son of God became man, born of a woman, Mary, from whom Jesus took his humanity, is the glory of our human race. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please hold stand. spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In this last day, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please 
please be seated. Muleo, magandang gabi. And welcome po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Alam niyo ngayong gabi, meron hong tatlong events o tatlong okasyon ho na, ta na pinagdidiriwang ho natin. Kanina ho ay nabanggit ko na yung dalawa. Hindi ho ba? Kaya na ho yung tatlong okasyon na yon o yung tatlong events na yon. Una, siguro yung mas obvious, yung New Year. Hindi ho ba? Ngayong gabi, eh, ipinagdidiriwang ho natin yung bagong taon. New Year. Kaya matanong ko, ready na ho ba kayo mamaya para salubig, salubungin yung bagong taon? Pakibati yung katabi nyo, Happy New Year. Iyon. At pangalawang okasyon ho na nabanggit ko, ngayong gabi ay Solemnity ho, Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Kaya pakibati ho ulit yung katabi mo. Happy Feast Day. Happy Feast Day, Mama Mary. Okay, meron na hong dalawa. At yung pangatlo, baka hindi ho kayo pamilyar, pero may isa pa hong okasyon. May isa pa hong event. Ano po yun? Ngayong gabi, kung tutuusin January 1 ho, ay ipinagdidiriwang din ho natin yung tinatawag na World Day of peace na sinimulan ho ni Pope Paul VI at ipinagpatuloy ho ng mga sumusunod pang mga Santo Papa si Saint, jo Saint Pope John Paul II Benedict XVI at saka si Pope Francis po so ngayong gabi bukas ho January 1 ay World Day of Peace kaya pakibati ho ulit for the third time yung katabi mo Peace Okay. So may tatlong occasion ho at meron tayong tatlong pagbati sa ating katabi. Happy New Year. Happy Feast Day. Happy Feast Day Mama Mary. At saka yung pangatlo ay peace. At sinasabi ho ng ating simbahan o pinagdadasal ho ng ating inang simbahan na sa unang araw ho ng taon ay sana sumasa atin ho yung kapayapaan. Sumat sa atin ho, bawat isa ho sa atin ay merong kapayapaan. Bawat pamilya ho natin ay merong kapayapaan. At yung buong mundo ay merong kapayapaan. At sinasabi din ho ng ating inang simbahan na yung ating inang Maria, Queen of Peace, ay gabay ho natin tungo sa kapayapaan. Kung tutuusin ho, yung peace o kapayapaan, ay minimitiho ng ating inang simbahan para sa atin. Di lang ho sa araw na ito, kundi sa bawat araw ng ating buhay. Hindi lang ho pang January 1. Kung tutuusin ay 365 days in a year, minimiti ipinagdadasal ho ng ating inang simbahan para sa atin na meron ho tayong kapayapaan. Kaya nga ho, napakaganda ng ating unang pagbasa na ito'y isang dasal, isang benediction, lalong-lalo na yung benediction of peace, o blessing of peace. Maganda ho yung kapayapaan yung hinihingin natin sa Diyos para sa ating kapwa. O sinasabi sa ating unang pagbasa, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So, sa unang pagbasa pa lang ho, ay makikita na ho natin yung minimithi ng ating inang simbahan para sa atin. At yan po ay kapayapaan o peace. At yung ating ibanghelyo naman ay nagpapakita ho sa atin ng pamamaraan ng ating mahal na ina tungo sa kapayapaan. Marayal ho, Marami tayong minimiti ngayong bagong taon. Di ho ba? Kung meron tayong wini-wish, kung meron tayong dinadasal, minsan maganda raw, isama sa bagong taon. Marayal ho, marami sa atin eh minimiti na magkaroon ng bagong gamit 
bagong bahay malahin o bagong buhay hindi kaya ay kahit yung tinatawag na mas mas matiwasay na buhay mas magagandang opportunities di ho ba kahit kami mga pare eh meron ding minimithi ngayong bagong taon lalong lalo na mamaya ho sa aming New Year's party minimithi ho marami sa amin minimithi sana siya yung makakuha ng grand prize maka blackout pero ngayong bagong taon sa tingin ko eh marami ho tayong minimithi ipinagdadasal at di naman ho yun masama pero pinapaalala ho sa atin na mitiin ho muna natin ang kapayapaan mitiin ho muna natin yung peace kasi nga ho walang saysay naman yung magandang bahay malaking bahay pero nahihirapan naman ho tayong matulog Walang saysay din ho yung ingranding handaan marahil mamaya kung watak-watak naman ho tayo. Kaya pinapaalala ho sa atin, mitihin ho man, muna natin yung kapayapaan to peace. Kaya matanong ko, sino sa inyo dito ay makapagsabi na siya ay payapa in peace? Pakita sa yung kamay, are you in peace? Makita asong kamay kung sabi ay siya ay peace. Meron ho na ilan. Sa nagtaas ng kamay ho, yung katabi niya pakikurot, buhay pa ho ba yan? Bakit ho? Kasi baka rest in peace po yan at galing ho sa sementeryo. Bakit ko nasabi niyan? Kasi nga, mailap din ho yung tinatawag na kapayapaan, di ho ba? Mahi madalas, mahirap maabot. At marami rin ho sa atin, eh, tila walang kapayapaan, balisa, at marahil may takot sa buhay. Yan magandang katanungan ho, paano ho ba natin maabot o masasabi na tayo ay may kapayapaan o peace? Meron ho akong narinig na magandang description ho ng peace o kapayapaan. At sinasabi na may yung mga tribo daw sa North America, para sa kanila ay may three levels of peace. Yung first level of peace ay yung tinatawag na peace of mind. Nagsisimula daw yung kapayapaan dito sa isip. Peace of mind. Kaya walang peace ho tayo kung mayroong pagkalito, maraming katanungan sa buhay, may mga pagdududa, o di kay marami ho tayong di naintindihan, o di ho tayo nagkakaintindihan, kulang sa unawa, lalong lang na kulang sa awa. Kaya nga sinasabi nila, 90% daw ho ng mga away, lalong-lalo na sa pamilya, ay dahil kulang sa peace of mind. Di nagkakaintindihan, kulang sa unawa, Wal walang unawa sa isa't isa, at lalong-lalo na, kahit sa pamamayo natin, tila kulang ang tinatawag na awa. Kaya para sa kanila, if you want peace, You have to work for the clarity of the mind. Unawain, kawaan, have mercy. First level of peace, peace of mind. At pangalawang level of peace, peace of heart. The heart is always described as something restless. Maligalig yung puso. Bakit ho maligalig yung ating puso? Maligalig dahil ang dami yung gusto. At kapag nakita ng puso yung gusto niya, eh gusto sung gaban ka agad yung gusto niya. Di ho ba? Halimbawa lang ho sa mga binata, kapag nakakita ho ng magandang dilag, eh sasabihin niya, Bro, ang ganda-ganda niya. Ako unang nakakita sa kanya. Akin siya. Wow. Di ho ba ganun? Tapos babakura na yan. Walang pwedeng lumapit. Kasi gusto niya, at gusto niyang sunggaman ka agad. Ganon din sa mga dalaga. Pag nakakita ng guwapo, isasabihin sa mga kabarkada niya, Sis, ang guwapo-guwapo niya, akong nakaunang nakakita niyan. Akin siya. Meow! Dahil gusto niya. At kapag gusto niya, gusto niyang sunggaman ka agad. Kaya ho maligalig yung puso kasi ang daming gusto pero minsan 
yung gusto niya ay diho para sa kanya. Minsan ang gusto niya ay diho kaagad mapapasa sa kanya. Kaya sa mga triboy na yon, kung gusto mo ng kapayapaan, work for the taming of the heart. Kunting disiplina sa puso. Kunting disiplina sa sarili. At maganda rin pagbigyan yung iba sa pangangailangan nila marahil sa gusto ho nila. Second level of peace. Peace of heart. At yung third level of peace, ito po yung common understanding ho natin ng peace o kapayapaan. At ito ay harmonious relationship with others. Walang kaaway, walang katampuhan, walang kasamaan ng loob. Kaya yung biruan naming mga pare, di ho thoughtful. Ibig sabihin ng thoughtful sa amin, di ho nakakalimot sa mga taong nakasakit sa kanya. Na mahirap po kapag hindi tayo nakalimot ng mga taong nakasakit sa atin, eh, wala ding peace ho niyan. Puro sama ng loob ho yung daladala natin. That's third level of peace. Harmonious relationship with others. At sinasabi na maabot lang ho natin yung third level of peace kapag una, meron na tayong peace of mind. At pangalawa, merong peace of heart. Di ho ba? Napakasimple ng description ng peace na yan. At napakaganda. At halos ganun din ho yung pamamaraan ng kapayapaan ng ating inang Maria, ina ng Diyos. Unang pamamaraan ho ng kapayapaan ng ating mahal na ina, pagtanggap. Merong pagtanggap. Simula nung binati siya ng anghel, yung ating mahal na ina, at sinabi ko sa kanya na siya ay magiging ina ng Diyos, may mga pag-aagam-agam din ho yung ating mahal na ina. Kung tutuusin, nagtanong din ho siya, pero sa kabila ng lahat, may pagtanggap yung ating mahal na ina. Pagtanggap sa sinabi ng anghel, pagtanggap sa pagbisita ng mga pastol, at meron din ang pagtanggap sa pagbisita ng mga mago. Puro di kilala ho ng ating mahal na ina. Iba ho sila. Pero hindi ho niya sinabi, hindi ho nagsabi yung ating mahal na ina, ayaw ko na, ayaw ko na sa inyo. Naguguluhan na ako. Hindi ho sinabi ng ating mahal na ina. Hindi ho ganun yung reaksyon ng ating mahal na ina sa sitwasyon niya. Ang reaksyon niya, may pagtanggap. Pinakinggan ho niya ang anghel, ang mga pastol, ang mga mago. At pilit inunawa yung mga sinasabi nila. Pilit na inintindi. Kaya ganun din ho, walang kapayapaan kapag walang pangunawa, walang awa, o walang pagtanggap, lalong-lalo na sa mga taong iba sa atin. Naalala ko tuloy, yung aming nanay ho at yung kapatid ko na nag-aalaga ho sa nanay namin ay palagi ho nag-aaway at minsan eh, naglabas ho ng sama ng loob yung kapatid ko. Eh, sinabi ko na lang sa kapatid ko, tanggapin mo na lang yung nanay natin. Kasi kahit balik ta rin mayang mundo, nanay pa rin natin siya. Intindi na lang, unawain, pagbigyan. Kasi mas mahirap kung walang pagtanggap, walang pangunawa. Unang pamamaraan ng kapayapaan ng ating mahal na ina, pagtanggap. Walang kapayapaan kapag walang pangunawa, walang awa, walang pagtanggap. At yung pangalawang pamamaraan ho ng kapayapaan ng ating mahal na ina, ito ay pagkalinga. Sinabi ho ng Ibanghelyo na yung ating Panginoon ay nakahiga ho sa sabsaban at nakabalot sa lambin, wrapped in swaddling clothes. At sabi ng isang pare, No, maingat na binalot ng ating mahal nina ang ating Panginoon. Buong pagkalinga na binalot ni Maria ang ating Panginoong Isus. And that's care. Mama Mary is showing us 
the culture of care. Kapag naging manhid ho tayo, o kapag nagbubulag-bulagan ho tayo sa bawat isa, sa pamilya ho natin, o sa komunidad ho natin, at may naiiwan, may nag-iisa, may nahihirapan, dahil, dahil walang kasama o walang tulong, walang kapayapaan ho sa gitna natin. Pag may pagkalinga, merong kapayapaan. And if there is a care for, for one another, we can achieve something. Kasi kung wala yung tinatawag na pagkalinga o care, magiging magulo lang ho yung buhay. Nagiging magulo lang yung mga bagay-bagay. Makalat ho. Makalat. Yung simbahan natin, kahit pa paano, ay masasabi ho natin na maganda ho yung dekorasyon. Sa labas at sa loob ho. Dahil nagniningning, no, makulay, umaliwanag po ang daming uh, ilaw sa labas at dito ho sa loob. At alam nyo ho, hindi ho yan ganun kadali. Nailagay yung mga ilaw na yan. Na marami tila, marami naman hong natutuwa. Na minsan, eh, hanggang 11 p.m., meron pa hong pumupunta dito para magpa-picture lang no, doon sa harap ng, ng simbahan. Pero hindi ho yan ganun kadali. Tinatawanan ko nga ho yung mga empleyado dito na ko nangingitim na ho sila dahil tanghaling tapat ay nagkakabit ho ng ilaw. Pero naging maganda yung mga bagay-bagay dahil mayroong pagkalinga. Pagkalinga marahil ng ilang pare at pagkalinga ng mga empleyado. Pag may pagkalinga, may magagandang nangyayari. At nagiging panatag din ho yung ating kalooban. Nakakatuwa. Peace and joy go hand in hand. Pangalawang pamamaraan ng kapayapaan ng ating mahal na ina, pagkalinga. Care. The culture of care. Sabi nga ni Pope Francis, we need a culture of care in order to create a pathway to peace and joy. Pagkalinga. At panganlog pa mamaraan ho ng ating mahal ina tungo sa kapayapaan, panalangin. Panalangin. Prayer. Narinig ho natin sa ating, sa ating ibanghelyo na yung ating Panginoon, ang anak ng Diyos, ay pinangalan ng Jesus. Nang ibig sabihin ng pangalang Jesus ay God saves. At yan ho, yung pangalang na yan, ay hindi lang ho isang deklarasyon, hindi lang ho isang statement. Yung pangalan na yan, ay isa din hong dasal. Kaya kung tayo ho ibalisa, kung tayo natatakot, kahit sambitin mo lang ho yung pangalan na yan, Jesus, God saves, parang nananalangin din ho tayo, para hong sinasabi natin, Lord, tulungan mo po ako. Lord, iligtas mo po ako. At alam mo natin na sapat ang grasya ng Diyos. Sapat ang tulong ng Diyos para sa atin. The life of Mama Mary is a life of prayer for she is always with her son, Jesus, the God who saves. Pray and be at peace in our Lord Jesus. Kaya ho, napapansin ho natin, kapag walang dasal, o kapag kulang ho tayo sa dasal, e eh wala din ho tayong kapayapaan. You know, yung tatlong pamamaraan tungo sa kapayapaan na ipinapakita ho na sa atin ng atang mayal na ina. Pagtanggap, pagkalinga, panalangin. Muli ho sa ngalan ng aming komunidad ng mga kaparehan ho dito sa Priory of Our Lady of the Rosary, 
dito sa Minor Basilica at sa ngalan ho ng aming parish priests, si Father Ching Ho, binabati ko kayo. Happy New Year! Happy Feast Day! At peace po sa inyong lahat. Peace with understanding and mercy. Peace with care. Peace with prayer. Sa lahat ng suporta na binibigay niyo sa amin, maraming maraming salamat ho. At tanging maisusukli lang ho namin sa inyo ay yung dasal. Prayer of benediction. In Jesus' name, I pray for you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Happy New Year. Happy Feast Day. At Peace Hall. We all stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was it. And came man for, for our sake, sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death, and was buried, and rose again. In accordance with the Scriptures, He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, the new year ushers, ushers in new challenges and opportunities, as well as new hopes for a more lasting peace. Let us pray to the Father that the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in our lives. For every intention we shall say, God of Peace, listen to our prayer. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and deacons. May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Persevere and be faithful in the vocation you have called us to undertake. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations. May they value dialogue more than dissent and promote restorative justice so that people may live in tranquility and work for their advancement. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for all those persecuted because of religion, class, race, gender, or color, may they find support and comfort from those who work for justice and peace and in their community, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the souls and our brothers and sisters. Grant them the reward of eternal life, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We also pray for the intentions of this Mass and the intentions of all the deputies of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Heavenly Father, 
hear our humble supplications. Help us spend our whole life in your service and bring peace to our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit 
she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, they took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. one family with faith hope and love let us now pray with confidence to our loving father in the words our savior gave us To deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
We all stand. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son, and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat to sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na pagdiriwang dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At naway daladala niyo palagi yung pagpapala ng ating Panginoon, ang kapayapaan ng ating Panginoon. Muli ho, Happy New Year, Happy Feast Day, and Peace po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May He order your days and your deeds in His peace. Grant your prayers in this and every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Amen. Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, may these rosaries, images of our Lord and Our Lady, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed, and those who are going to use them be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.